here it is. <laughs> My final last hurrah before leaving the state of Pennsylvania. I really wanted to go here the other day. It just didn't work out. Time was not in my favor. However, today is my day off shopping and I'm doing what I love the most, shopping. Now, of course, just a reminder, I'm probably gonna sell anything I pick up uh, before this video post. I'm sorry, but my car is so, so packed. But let us not forget, we're about to drive across the country antiquing for six weeks, so I'm sure we're gonna find some really great stuff. But in the meantime, let's go in and see what we can find. I can't lie, I'm still super obsessed with this tower, tower shelf thing. <laughs> oh, I try to stay away from this vendor's booth because they always have stuff that I like that's priced too high for me. That lighter is really neat. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Jocelyn's booth looks amazing. Look at that color coordination going on. I'm like so into it. Oh, that's a fun one. Oh, wait, I think this is the lamp I got with her at Penmar and she put like an incredible shade on it. That is fabulous. Um, I see something. That snowman pin. Oh, he's got a crack on his nose though. Dang, I was gonna say. It's like a Japan chenille one. But yeah, I can see he's got a little damage on his face. That's a shame. Oh, how cool is this? Basket purse. That is fun. It reminds me of the Wizard of Oz. I don't really feel like shipping that though. Hmm, I'm gonna let it go. Maybe if it was another day, I would. I just don't have the energy in, in me today. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's so cute. Chil children's bunny pinafore. Adorable. Ooh. Look at this oil class cloth cow. Oh my gosh. He's fantastic. He's got a little bit of wear, but he's only $8. I love oil cloth toys. And I've never seen a cow. Since he's under $10, I feel like it's a safe bet. He probably won't sell for that much, but... He's got a really fabulous look to him. I think he's like worn in all the right places. I'm gonna grab him. Oh my gosh, look at you. <laughs> oh wow, $12. Can I get away with that? I don't know if I can get away with that. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it was like a handmade thing. Miss Kitten. Oh, that is so cute. Mm, I'm gonna do it. Why not? And if worse comes to worse, I'll throw it on Etsy. What's this orange bag here? That's kind of a fun color. And then they've got this, is this what I think it is? I think it is. Whiting and Davis, $10. What's the inside look like? It's a little bit newer. It's really fun though. I love that metal meshy. Um, I'm a little on the fence about this one. I think it's really fun, but it might be a little too... Yeah, the edges are worn. If it was an older one, I think I'd do it, but I think it's got one too many things going on. The purple one is fun. This one's fun too, even though I don't do a lot of brown. Oh, I love this chainy stuff. That one's 19, that one's older, I think. So far, I've seen a lot of stuff that's close to something I'd pick up, but no winners yet. I love that green beaded Victorian purse. That's at 35, though, that's too pricey. And these hair combs are fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at that compact with the metal mesh on it. But that's at 25. Now, last time I was here, I found some really fantastic stuff in here. Uh, it's gonna be super, super case worthy today because I'm feeling, uh, oh my gosh, look at all the fun bake light. Yeah, they looked at that bangle, the one that's, um, I thought it was black and white, but it's brown and white. Oh my gosh, and the celluloid, so fun. A lot of it's a little too close for me, but I'm curious what's on that necklace on the other side. 
And then these are $5 each. I found some really neat poodle pins in here. Looks like uh, they got cleaned out. <laughs> um, that's kind of funny. I took half of them and I'm assuming somebody saw it and took the other half. I love the sweetheart pin back there. That one pin, the celluloid one with the rhinestones is really pretty. Do I deem it case worthy? Maybe not. Oh my gosh, look at the parrot. That's so, uh, Bakelite. That's so fun. I love stuff like that. Does that say $30? Maybe it's not Bakelite. I feel like it is. Well, I did end up picking a really nice vintage hair clip out that was only $5 which is fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at that little box. That's so cute. I feel like, I feel like I was carrying something and now I'm not. <laughs> I need to do a possession check. Hold on. That is such a beautiful ink set. Um, the other thing I'm noticing now is this little, looks like the top of a box though. Hmm. This is kind of interesting. Six dollars. That's interesting. Unfortunately, it's got a little nick on it. I don't think you could get away with that. Little, little tweezers. Oh, it's so nice to not feel any pressure and have nothing I need to be worrying about and just hanging out shopping. Uh, as you guys probably see, I'm usually stressed for time or trying to find something and running around today i'm just kind of hanging enjoying my time at the antique mall frog watch that's fantastic it looks like they have rearranged this giant jewelry case that was taking up a lot of space um now where was i uh there's a lot of stuff in here that's really neat and really well priced I can't help but notice the one brooch I like. It doesn't have the price showing, <laughs> which probably means it's the most expensive one. <laughs> That's how I roll. Um, there's a lot of really good ones in here that are cute, but I'm looking for that thing that makes it completely case worthy. I know how weird I am about keys. Uh, Oh, that Art Nouveau one with the lady, but that one's at 35. That's too high for me for resale. Fair retail price though, I must say. That's definitely an older one. And then on the top here, they have more bracelets. I love the micro mosaic bracelet. That's probably a small fortune. I wanna know what that is though. It says Lucite, $39. I can't tell what the image is on it, but I have a feeling that I'd be underwhelmed once I picked it up. And then they got a lot of fun bracelets. I'm sure everyone's into the owl. The cross up there with the mother of pearl is fantastic too. Oh, this is a danger zone for me. Um, they still have another case around the corner. So if I see something that's extra keyworthy there, then maybe I'll break into here. But honestly, I'm trying to stay away. <laughs> I don't want to end up spending uh, a small fortune in here. With, oh, look at the mini purse. That's fantastic too. So much fun. The compact, that little tin. Oh, that's so cute, and that's only $1.50. It's getting harder and harder. They say no to getting the keys, I tell you. Bunch of Halloween stuff. Oh, I see a giant flower pin that's case-worthy. It's a neon pink and an olive pukey green at $9. That's fantastic, case-worthy. I love the Lucite horse pin, but unfortunately that one's at 55 and all right i guess we are getting into the cases so i'm just gonna keep kind of looking around cat pin two dollars we'll pick that up so i did get the big pink flower i got a really cool signed modern art one uh, i got a couple little knickknacks and doodads out of there not so much so far my total for everything i've picked up so far is only 42 dollars. i almost got carried away but then i stopped myself so 
feeling pretty good about that. Let's keep going. I mean, we still haven't gone upstairs. And you know how I get when I go upstairs. Also, I love these buttons. Well, I was going around the other corner, but I could not help but notice these crazy weird flamingo necklaces. Six dollars. That is bizarre. It's kind of... Look at this one. Big flamingo necklace. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are hilarious. And then there's this one with the plastic flamingos. These look like somebody handmade them, I'm assuming. This one's a little too party city for me. This one is so crazy. I'm like, would someone wear this? Oh no, that one's got its head broken off. I was, with, oh, they've got a couple, headless flamingos. <laughs> yeah, I can't get down with that. Uh, I was pretty close too. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of flamingo stuff in there. We're gonna have to go check it out. And this one, it's just straying and losing color a little bit too much for me, I think. All right. It's very cool in theory, but in reality. Oh my gosh, there's stuff over here too. I don't know which way to go first. Um, maybe I'll just start here and bag of weird dolls, of course. <laughs> I love it. Let's see. Now it looks like a lot of the flamingo stuff that I'm seeing is newer. Is that what I think it is? I really like this wood necklace. That's kind of funky. Don't see a price on that. Let's see, they've got some neat stuff in this booth. It's kind of all over the place, which is my favorite, quite frankly. That plastic one's fun. All right, I'm gonna start from this side. I guess this is just the way I'm going. <laughs> um, ooh, it's kind of neat. Three dollars and 25% off. It's super thin. It's kind of fun. I'm not sure how well it would sell. Look at this thing. That's fun too. What is this? Is this? Is this what I think it is? That looks like sterling. Oh, I'm not even showing it. Good grief. Hmm. Pewter. I'm gonna look at it anyway, cause it's kind of neat. What's, oh my gosh. My almost not. Oh my gosh. That's so sweet. The mother pen. Oh, that's cute. Uh, weird cat trinket. Ah, that's kind of neat too. Uh, hmm. Should I get this? It's kind of neat. I feel like pewter doesn't have nickel in it either, so it's safe. Oh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not, I'm not gonna put it back where I found it, actually. Um, yeah, I'm just not feeling it. This is another little nook that I find some really great jewelry. That looks like a locket. Heart pin. It's definitely newer. Oh my gosh, that is a locket. Mary Kay. Another. That's kind of fun with the rhinestone in it. Fun beads. I found all kinds of fun cat jewelry in here last time. This is what I was looking at while I was across the way, but now that I'm up close, I'm not really seeing anything that jumps out at me. And then this case wasn't here before either. I love the cameos. And um, really interesting painted bracelet. Now that's cool. Large horse blanket safety pin. Whoa, is there a discount in here? I don't think I see a discount sign. No. Dang, that would have to be a keeper at that price. That is neat. Also found some really neat stuff in this booth. Last time I was here. It's gonna give it a quick glance over. That's kind of fun. Five dollars. It's kind of a weird, moves around a little. I don't like that. Let's see what's going on down here. 
Mm, close, but no, except I do want to take a better look at this one. That's kind of cool with the faces. Six bucks, not bad. Beads. <laughs> Lots of fun stuff over here. Just kind of looking through the bracelets, which I think I combed through the last time. Although it looks like they've got new stuff since I was here last. Hmm. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Very overstimulating, which is perfect for me. All right, what about in this little stack? What's this? Looks like a little sewing kit, maybe. Mm. Beaded. Oh, good grief, that stuck on something. There it is. $10. Love the hair dryer. A little underwhelming up close, especially for that price. Hmm, that's probably about what I'd sell that for, too. Not seeing anything else. That toy suitcase is fun. I've looked at that before. Oh, I forgot about this booth. Oh, this one got me in trouble last time. All right, so don't see a discount. But this fuzzy ceramic dog is so cute. It's Taiwan, so it's newer than the Japan ones. So at $16, I don't really think I could do much for it. With it, not for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's fun, even though it's new. We found that really cool hobbyist fish in here last time. All right, I'm gonna finish the last of downstairs after we go upstairs. And we all know that upstairs time is my favorite time. Ah, yes. Oh, I think this was here last time, actually, and it was expensive. Yeah, 18 I was going to say I love those risque bottle openers. That's about what I get for mine after fees. That's a really cool pin cushion. Different. $29. What's happening here? Vintage black long neck cat with hand-painted flowers. What does that say? 12 bucks. Hmm, it's probably about what I'd sell that for. Why is this one $8? I guess because it's a little bit smaller. Interesting, but alas, this situation has my attention. How fun. I've never seen a couple of these. I've never seen the snails, and I've never seen the smile. There's no discount in this booth, though. It's a little bit more than I'd like to pay for it, unfortunately. They're $16 each. Okay, but I do <laughs> really like this. And it's cracked, unfortunately. What's this wild beaded girl thing? Vintage double-sided beaded doll. $23.75. Unfortunately, that's too much for me. I missed the two, I can't lie. <laughs> that's neat too. I like the purple, 12 bucks. One of my favorite things about going upstairs is opening the cabinets and not knowing what you're going to find, like this anthropomorphic concrete apple thing. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's so funny. Dagny just sent me a picture of one of these she got. That is fantastic. How much is that one? Nine dollars. She paid like 89 cents. <laughs> that's fun. Ugh, I used to buy and sell those like crazy. I just feel like they slowed down recently for me. Um, they used to go for more than they do now for me at least. So I don't want to have that much invested in it. Look at that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> That's not even my thing. I'm just zoned. I'm in the zone. Well, I'm starting to check out mentally. But this is very interesting. Even with the damage, I can tell you now, that's probably worth a lot more than $16. It's like a strawberry. Heart-shaped. How much are you heart-shaped? Heavy heart-shaped, $10. Not bad, a little bit more than I'd like to spend though. 
I'm also starting to lose interest. I'm not going to lie. I'm almost done, so <laughs> I guess I'll just finish up right quick. But, yeah, I'm kind of starting to be like, you know what? I'm ready to go. I had a nice day. These are neat. And now I'm ready to go. Beaded. I've been really into these beaded numbers recently. 18, that's got a lot of damage on it. I did really well in those ones on Black Rose the other day. I was just about to check out when I turned the corner and saw this fantastic thing. Bunny Rattle, $8. He's fantastic. Does he have any markings? Is there a discount? You know, all the, all the questions I like to ask. I kind of feel like at $8, that's a little too close for me. That's probably about what I'd get for that after fees. But it's fantastic. Unless there was, unless there was a marking I missed. I feel like it's got a little bit of wear. Yeah, I wish it said Japan or something at least. You guys have already de-miked myself and everything. I am ready for vacation mode. I spent $42 in there and I will see you guys tomorrow in Tennessee. Finally, the day has come.